everyone, today we are decorating for fall in my living room and hutch. This video is part two of my 2022 fall decorating series. In part one, we decorated around my kitchen and dining room. So if you liked this video, I will have part one linked in the description down below. And if this is your first time here, I would love for you to subscribe. I have a lot of fun decorating videos to come. So with all that said, let's jump right in. All this week, I've been making fall scented simmer pots. They are the best way to make your home smell like fall. And I bet you already have most of these ingredients on hand. I also wanted to introduce our free roaming bunny to my channel. He is just the sweetest little guy. As you can see, my living room is very neutral. I already took down a lot of the decor that I had in here and wiped everything clean so we can get right into the decorating. I went on Etsy and was looking for the perfect fall painting to add to my frame TV in the living room. These usually range in price from $2 to $4 and you just download them right to the frame TV app and then you can have a really fun seasonal piece of art right in your living room. After that was all set up, I'm taking my frames that I've had on each of my living room shelves since the beginning of this year. If you remember that video, I added really pretty botanical prints to each frame and they have been up all year. I have definitely loved them, but now I thought it would be fun to add in some pretty fall prints. These are also from Etsy and I really like how each picture has a cohesive color scheme so they all go really well together. Displaying artwork and photography is super trendy right now. Signs are out and artwork is in. And an affordable way to get this look for less is to download prints like these off of Etsy. You can also help support small shops and artists, which I love to do. And then once they're downloaded, you can print them out on matte paper or have them printed from a place like Zazzle or something like that online. And then and for the frames, I bought mine as a four pack off of Amazon. They were really affordable and if they're still available, I will link them down below. For my mantle, I'm using more of those fig leaf stems that I used on my open shelves in my kitchen decorating video. I know a lot of you were wondering if I could provide a link, but unfortunately these are still sold out. But if you follow me on Instagram, I will share over there in stories when they do go back in stock. I love the goldish yellow tone of these leaves. They look very natural and just add such a warmth to this space. And with any faux stem or garland, the more you spread out the leaves and turn them so they're facing the right direction, the better they always look. Candlesticks always look cozy for fall and these tapered candles were from Hearth and Hand last fall. I never actually burned them, but I just love the yellow look and how well they went with these leaves. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm bringing back out this pair of pheasants that I found last year for just $5 at Goodwill. They did have a very similar set at Hobby Lobby and I think they are perfect for fall shelf styling. Stacking pumpkins in urns or vases and even adding antique books are other ways to incorporate fall into your living room. I love to bring these black iron lanterns out by the fireplace for fall and winter. If they are still available, I will link them down below. Adding in blankets and throw pillows is the best way to give your living room that cozy feeling that everyone loves for fall. I've seen a lot of these fabric pillows this season and I love how they look in a basket with blankets and pillows. They are just so timeless and cozy. This one is from Joann's, but I did grab the one that is super popular this year from Target. I believe they have it in orange, white, or like an off-white that is the exact color of my couch. So I decided to go for the orange one, but they do have it in a really pretty sage green as well. originally looking for a plaid throw to go over our couch, but when I saw this one, I loved how it incorporated all of the golds and greens that I'm decorating with throughout my house, and it really just tied them all together in the coziest way. If you've been here a while, then you already know that this fireplace is faux, but that doesn't mean that I can't pretend that it's real and add in some logs. Last year, I filled this with pumpkins, but I'm really loving the more subtle touches of fall this season.
more a fun but kid and pet friendly glow in this space, I'm adding some of these fairy twinkle lights. I wanted to add in a big pop of color, so I'm using this old basket to add in a ton of texture, tall faux stems, and some of these dried corn husks that I found from Michael's. Unfortunately, I only picked up one pack of these, and when I went back for more, they were sold out, but I do think that two more would have looked really well in here, but I do love the look of this together. I love all of the colors and the textures, and next year I will definitely grab another pack or two. Finishing touch is adding back in my vintage rocking horse. My favorite look is to mix old and new decor. I think it just adds such a timeless high-end look. I bought these faux mums for my front porch back in June, if you can believe that. So I will look and see if they are still available and link them if they are. But they are just such a fun pop of color and I wanted to use one of them in a basket to go beside my hutch. I love to use extra wreaths as another way to add in florals with a pumpkin stack and these are going on top of my hutch. I know I say this every time, but I just love finding new ways each season to decorate this hutch. I'm using a mix of old and new and a lot of copper and brass and also some linens to create this cozy fall look. Next week I'm going antiquing and thrifting for fall decor, so let me know if you would rather see a shopping and haul video from that or would rather see a video of how I style each piece in my home.
next week I will be in Freedom, Maine filming for The Lost Kitchen. So if you watch that show, keep your eye out for me next season. I will share some of my travels on Instagram, so make sure you follow me over there. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video and I hope you all have an amazing day.